Yes, yeah, quick tutorial on using Nmap. Um, <clears throat> Nmap's a uh, great tool if you want to do port scans, any kind of reconnaissance, uh, fingerprinting, stuff like that. Uh, it's available for Windows and Linux. Uh, it also includes Zenmap, which is the uh, the GUI for it, uh, which is pretty cool, and I'll show you how to use it both ways here. Um, so I'll include the link for download. Uh, once you install it, uh, for Windows it's going to have to install the WinPCAP driver and everything like that. Uh, but once you install it, you can uh, you can open up a command line and you can simply type in nmap. And it'll give you all the usage. As you can see, there's quite a few options you can do. Um, I'm not going to go into all of them. I'll let you guys look at that. Um, but basically, you can do uh, nmap. Oops and SP, and you do a simple port scan, and you can specify the target. Um, now I'm just going to use this one here. Now, if you want to scan the entire range, uh, you can do dash zero and slash 24 and give it a CIDR notation, um, and it'll continue to, to do that here. So let's, let's just scan one host, and it's actually pretty fast. We'll let that run. Okay, so you see the results came back. Uh, port 80 and uh, Microsoft RPC and everything is open here. These are pretty typical um, ports used with Microsoft products and so on since it is Windows. Uh, Mac address, you can see it's listed here. Uh, it gives it the, uh, the OUI right here, saying that it is VMware and we are using VMware. Um, so that's, that's a simple scan. Um, won't go into too in depth. You can look at all the scan options again by typing nmap uh, and and looking through here. And you can basically piece things together how you want to scan. Um, do it on the GUI as well. <clears throat> again, the GUI is available for both the Linux and Windows uh, releases for this product. So okay, so we can do the target again. Let's go ahead and type that in. Uh, you can do any intent scan. Scan plus UDP, scan on all TCP ports, several different things here. Intent scan is going to give you the most information possible, um, so you uh, you can do it that way. Uh, comprehensive scan will give you quite a bit of information as well. Um, I always use intent scan unless I need to just do a s simple quick scan or a ping scan. Um, that way, just to see if I, I want to see what hosts are up on the network. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, now you'll see it gives you the syntax out on the screen right here and you can actually take this and drop this right into the command line and run it. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this. Now it's still going here, um, so we'll want to give it a second. Again, intent scan is going to look for a lot more information. It's going to try and guess the operating system and everything like that. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so the scan finally finished. It took a couple more minutes. Um, but you can see it's got uh, basic port discovery. Uh, down here it shows um, more information on what it found. Basically, it's going to give you, uh, you know, the service and everything like that. And if we go down here, it's going to try and guess the operating system. Uh, now, Windows 7 Ultimate is actually the one we're running. So it did guess it right. But as you can see, it wasn't quite its first guess. I think it's Windows Vista. Um, so that, that, that's one way to do it. You can. Uh, there's several other programs where you can use to try and guess the operating system. Um, but Nmap is the most widely used.